Game plan going to 400 is the same game plan as always. Win. really big changes before this race. Had a lot of test time on it, so we came into the 400 feeling really confident. And the plan was to go out there and try to get back on top of that box. Qualifying was new this year for us. Usually we have it down at uh, Jose G's Land down in Ojos. Um, we went to go sign up on Tuesday, I believe, and uh, they said it was out at Nelson Ranch. We didn't really know where it was at first, but once we got out there, I realized it was some of the man-made jumps that we do for the start of all the Mexico races and they just added about three, four more miles to it. Mine didn't go too well. We had a smooth lap going. Kevin and Steve were doing really well and then uh, about three jumps or turns from the finish line. Flew it pretty good and as the truck hit the ground, heard a loud bang. And uh, ended up breaking a pinion shaft in the rear end. Well, I guess I got on the throttle just a little bit too early off one of those big jumps. Shit happens. They were able to limp across the finish line that gave us a 23rd place starting position though, so not ideal for race day. Hey. After qualifying, the boys from the shop took the truck back to the hotel and started uh, just taking it apart, replacing the gears, axles, anything, the drive shafts, the carrier bearing, anything that could have took a big shock load. Kind of made a judgment call talking to everyone, Neil and Mark and Kevin, that we were just gonna do drive shafts and carrier bearing, rear gear and axles. We are changing the rear gear and the carrier bearing on the Mason truck right now. I'm watching footage and trying to send it to Neil Mason. Then uh, as we're under there ripping it apart, a drive shaft came showing up with tuba. Do you need this thing? Yeah. Yeah, that, that GoPro lasted on it the whole time? Hey. That's pretty impressive. Okay, it's on. I think you putting the GoPro on here threw this out of balance and that's what broke this. Uh, I can safely you're blame blaming you. Me. Thanks, Tuba. 
Anything for the shot, huh? He had a camera on it, and I'm sure that's what caused it to come out of balance. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm installing some super secret okay, we'll, go we'll, fast stuff. We'll blur that. We'll keep it blurry over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't show anyone this news button. Okay, we'll blur that out. Top too. secret Mason performance. Just uh, steering wheel was a little to be off, so I'm just making sure it's straight when we drive down the road. Is that important? Um, it's important when you have paddle shifters, yes. So it was about a tooth off, and I'm very picky, and I like the steering wheel straight. So race morning, uh, morale was high. Even though we started 23rd, Kevin was stoked. Um, I think he was really excited for this race. He did tons of pre-running. I think he was down there for 13 or 14 days. Game plan is I'm starting the race, hopefully picking off a lot of spots and then uh, hand the truck off to Harley. We kind of switched gears um, from going to we're going to win this thing no matter what to let's survive. Let's get through the day clean. And if we get through problem free, we were calling that a win for us. I think we can move up a tremendous amount of spots here by the time I can hand it off to Harley. <laughs> Am I going to play nice? I always play nice. Come on. We were still pretty stoked the morning of because we had high confidence that the truck was going to make it with zero problems. good we just kept getting updates that was moving along move along made up a little time after updates it was good um, he just kept moving forward moving forward like passing people like all right cool man this maybe the chance for doing really well is still in the cards so as the pit guys morale got even higher a couple times would flash on live screen that uh, he was up in like eighth to six on timing. Like, oh, all right, pass one or two more guys, we'll keep moving on up. He did get stuck in some dust for quite a long time right after pit one, which our pit one was race mile 123. So he was pretty bummed on that. It took him a long time to get back by that guy, which cost us quite a few minutes.
came down on the crossover into the meadow about 240, um, Steve had noticed a tire going low. Realized it was a stick puncture from some of the new stuff they twist us around through. So pulled in the pit, got that changed. And then I didn't lose any position and just kept cruising along. I still get nervous at the start of the race or if I'm getting in halfway. Kevin was moving through the field so well. I think we were sixth or seventh on corrected time when he got me the truck. So I'm walking around nervous that I don't want to mess it up. I like already, I joked like, I just want to keep Kevin. In. He's doing so good. I don't want to be the one to screw this up. gathered it together, jumped in the truck. We had, I think, a 35, 30 second pissed off fuel tires and driver change. <laughs> Creeped up the go trucks. I didn't want to make any mistakes on that. A solid run. I felt really good in the truck, cruising through my section as hard as I could, trying to make up time. I knew we were, so I was trying to crack the top five. I'm actually in the true track of the silk, clipped the right front rock, didn't see it. Full mistake on my part, got a flat. Steve jumped out and changed it really quick and then we just started motoring to the finish line. tailed behind a couple guys right towards the end and uh, hit that finish line. It was amazing. It wasn't the win we wanted, but for what we were trying to accomplish, it felt so great to finally have a clean run and make it from point A to point B without one warning alarm, no pressure alarms, no temp alarms. I was so excited, I even jumped on the roof and sprayed a beer like I won, because I said if we cross without any problems, it was a win to us, so. Well, great work, congrats again for uh, making it to the finish line. Glad you guys are getting everything clicking and clacking, and we're looking forward to a great thousand. We'll, we'll see you in November. Thank you, and thank you everybody in Baja. You're amazing. Thank you for letting us race down here. We love it, we love you all. Thank you and all the fans. It was 
all in all, it was a great day for the Concrete Motorsports team moving forward in the 1000, knowing that we got our issues figured out that we've been dealing with. So now I would like to start highs and no lows on our video series. That's fine. Give me some, give me some wind. Thank you. It's kind of warm out here. Nice little fangirl. 